everyone. I hope that you are doing well. I'm Kumar Daughtry, and today on LookWeAreIncluded.com, I have Felicia Baxley with me, okay? She's an author, an entrepreneur, and she is a woman that you want to know. She has a new book out called Behind the Blue Elevator, and she is going to tell us what it's all about. She started writing this book in January of 2021, and as you can see, it's February, so it does not take long for her to write. Felicia, how are you doing today? I'm good, Kamar. How about yourself? Listen, no complaints. How has the pandemic been going, especially for an entrepreneur? Um, you know what? For me, I was one of those people who kind of took advantage of everything going on with the pandemic. I was the person who um, started a business. I released all of my books during a pandemic. Um, I was fortunate enough not to really have any financial issues. Um, so for me personally, it has been going well. It's, it's been allowing me to kind of allow all my creative juices to flow, if you will. Um, but I don't, you know, I, I know that a lot of people can't say that, but for me, it's, it's been pretty chill. <laughs> Well, I'll tell you this, um, a lot of entrepreneurs and a lot of, uh, I could say millionaires, take for example, Madam C.J. Walker, she started off her business um, during a recession and an economic mm -hmm. climb for the country. So I see you and a lot of uh, the people who are in your group, they're doing the same. But now let's talk about your book, Behind the Blue Elevator. Tell us, what is this book about? I'm already intrigued by the title. Yes. So this is actually my first um, fiction work. All of my other books have been um, nonfiction, kind of self-help, Christian lifestyle. So this one I'm most excited about because I was able to really um, allow my, my creativity to shine. It wasn't pretty straightforward like nonfictions are. So Behind the Blue Elevator basically follows a young lady named Ella, and she's on her first day of internship at an, um, a psychiatric asylum, which wow. is an outdated term now, but it fits for the book. It's basically a, a psychiatric penitentiary. And um, during her time there that day, she meets one of the patients and, and he just doesn't seem to fit the bill, if you will, of someone mm -hmm. she thought a, a psychiatric patient should look like. He didn't um, meet the standard of what we see in the media. He was, you know, handsome and, and clean cut and he spoke well and was eloquent. And he didn't fit all of the characteristics that some of the other patients that she encountered did. Um, so she, the book pretty much follows her day, spending a lot of time with him and talking with him. And she learns his, his story. She learns about how he got there. And um, for her, she realizes that how he got there is, is sort of a conspiracy because he was the operator of uh, an elevator at a large company. And this mm -hmm. company was so stressful that it um, tried to make sure it had every avenue possible for, for the employees to be able to relieve stress. One right. of the most drastic ones was what was um, explained as a suicide elevator. So wow. it allowed, yes, so it allowed for the employees, if they felt that they were at that point, to basically go in the elevator and it, it took their life. Mm -hmm. um, so the book pretty much follows her through that day, it follows her learning about this and, um, you know, just what it was like to, to meet someone and, and kind of how it put him there. Um, and like I said, it is a psychological thriller. So there are some twists right. and turns and not everything is, is as it seems, but um, yeah, that's, that's pretty much the, the gist of the, the book. Well, it sounds like that behind the blue elevator needs to be turned into a movie. Um, you have a very, very intriguing mind. You have written over four books, and I know that you are a ghost writer. Let me ask you, where did you get the inspiration, the idea to write behind the blue elevator? Oh, so, you know, it's funny. This one, typically, and I've had this conversation with a lot of different authors, and every author is completely different. Um, me personally, I typically, um, I might get the idea for a title and then I build the plot based on the title. So I'm more of a, a title junkie. So I have a notebook full of just titles, have no idea what the books would be about, but I like the title, right? This one was actually the opposite. And Kamar, if I'm to be honest with you, I don't really remember where I initially got the idea. I would like to say- I So you're telling had... me that you got a psychological thriller and it yeah. popped in your head? Well, I, I want to say something in a dream inspired it, but I can't remember. 
I know, um, and the biggest part of it was the the suicide elevator portion. And I'm I'm pretty sure it was in a a daytime nap dream. Right. Um, so that that's what I'm gonna go with. I'm not too for sure, but I'm most of those those ideas typically come to me either through um, something in a dream or if I'm on a long trip, just kind of looking out the window. If I'm not driving and something, I might see it like, oh man, just the thought process of what looking at that is like. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm gonna go with the dream. That's probably where the the idea originated at some in, at some capacity, anyway. Well, I'll tell you this: dreamers um, and creators and innovators—they are exactly what we need, especially in a period of quarantine. Now, mm-hmm. let's talk about your virtual book tour. Um, you stopped at LookWeAreIncluded.com, and you plan mm-hmm. on being on other platforms. Tell us what does this virtual book tour look like? Um, so this is actually the first time that I have done a virtual book tour. Um, I didn't do it with any of my other books and this one is, I I say it and I am hesitant to say it, but I think this one's probably the one that's the most near and dear to my heart. The other ones were kind of, um, assignments, if you will. Like I said, they were Christian lifestyle. So they were things that Um, I didn't necessarily want to write about, but I knew I needed to kind of share my story and and the things that I had learned. This one's more of, of just me. I I had the, the full creative opportunity to do it. So, um, I have taken the opportunity, of course, to stop by look, we are included and I'm stopping by a few other platforms just to, to bring awareness. And the cool thing about virtual book tours is I can do it from the comfort of my own home. And I I feel like I can. (laughs) <laughs> and I feel like I can honestly reach probably way more people than I would if I were going on a regular book tour. So right. I have a number of blogs and podcasts and YouTube channels that I'm going to be stopping by. And this is just kind of the pre- prerequisite to the release of the book, which is April the 15th. Um, it is on pre-order now. And then I'll actually do more after the book. Because I think this year, last year I put out three books and it was kind of a lot. Um, so this year, I think I'm kind of going to focus on just this one. Okay. Um, and then maybe I'll release the next thriller next year. Because at this point, thrillers are pretty much where I'm going as far as my writing is concerned. Well, I'll tell you this. The audience for LookWeAreIncluded.com, uh, we definitely we look forward to learning more about Behind the Blue Elevator and even purchasing the book. Um, who is uh, really the audience that you're trying to captivate here? It's a psychological thriller. Of, co- of course, it's going to take some twists some turns, and you're going to have to read it constantly. This is not a book where you can put it down, pick it back up. No, it sounds like you're going to have to stay with it. But who's your main audience that you want to really relate to? Um, So I think my main audience is pretty much um, women for the most part. I'm pretty sure there are a lot of guys out there that enjoy thrillers as well. But for the most part, I would say it's probably women um, anywhere from, let's say, 25 to probably upwards of 50. Okay. Um, just anyone who enjoys a, a great um, read, basically. I personally enjoy thrillers. That's I'm a, you know, I'm I'm a get on watch Criminal Minds, Law and Order over and over and over again type of girl. So I feel like anyone who likes that type of entertainment, that's who this is, who this book is for. Now, um, like you said, you're focusing on this book, Behind the Blue Elevator. But what else can we expect from you from this year, 2021? I know it's still February, but you're already pushing out a brand new book that you started writing in January. What else can we expect from you? Um, So as far as books are concerned, I'm not sure just yet if I'm going to release the next one. To be honest with you, I haven't started writing it yet. Well, I have, but uh, I'm still working it out. Um, But there's a potential for the second half of the year to release the next thriller, which will be called The Watchtower, which will be okay. another psychological thriller um, based in the, the psychiatric type world. And for those that weren't aware, my my um, degree is actually in psychology. Oh, that's where yes. the inspiration came from. <laughs> well, that and um, I actually struggle with my own mental health issues so being able to kind of have writing as an outlet for me works okay. and it allows me to kind of talk about the darker things that that I and so many other people have to experience in our own minds um, and bring entertainment to it but not necessarily making light of it per se it just gives it an outlet to not have to think about those things in a way that directly relates to me um, 
So yeah, that's the potential for later this year. It will be entitled The Watchtower. Um, I'm still doing a lot of revamping with my actual business. I have a publishing company. I publish only my own work right now, um, but I do offer writing services, uh, ghost writing services, as you mentioned earlier. So I am actually writing many other books for a lot of other authors out there. Well, I tell you this, you are a busy woman. You are also a brave woman. During this time of quarantine, a lot of people um, have had some thoughts and some different experiences. They have to say, well, wait one second. Either I need to talk to somebody or since the world has slowed down, these are some things that I need to focus on for self-improvement. So I'm glad that you were able to find this outlet and that you continue um, to do some really a healthy bonding with yourself because it's really paying off. Um, if there is anything else that you would like us to know, please share with us your social media handles because we would love to follow you. Absolutely. So on Instagram, um, as well as the Facebook page is at Hustle Write Publication and Write is W-R-I-T-E. Um, if you do want to go ahead and pre-order the book as of right now, I believe at the time this will air, um, it'll just be available on hustlewritepublication.com forward slash new releases. Um, if you're watching it a little bit later, if it, even if it's not out, it should be available for pre-order on Amazon and Barnes and Noble and iBooks uh, probably later in March. Sounds good. We cannot wait. And thank you again, Felicia. Again, she is an author and entrepreneur and she is a ghostwriter. So if you are looking to get your book published and you need somebody to help you along the way, Felicia can definitely do that. And she has a new book called Behind the Blue Elevator. It is out right now for pre-order and we cannot wait to purchase this book on April the 15th. So Felicia, we want to thank you very much for today and you have an awesome one and we look forward to more books. Thank you. Thank you for having me.